The At Nassau Berry Computer, later named the ABC, was built at Iowa State University between 1939 and 1942 by physics professor Dr. John Vincent At Nassau and his graduate student Clifford Berry. At Nassau was a professor of mathematics and physics, and the 1920s and 30s were a time of active discoveries and new theories for the scientific disciplines, especially for physics. At Nassau's work, the dielectric constant of helium was a study in theoretical physics published in 1930. At Nassau's work required a great deal of mathematical calculation, which he performed on a Monroe calculator. At the time, an advanced calculating machine, but which still required hours upon hours of calculations. Later, as a professor at Iowa State College, at Nassau sought to increase the speed and accuracy of scientific calculation through the development of an electronic digital computer. This effort resulted in the ABC. In his proposal to the Iowa State College for funding the construction of the machine titled Computing Machine for the Solution of Large Systems and Linear Algebraic Equations, at Nassau writes, since an expert computer requires about eight hours to solve a full set of eight equations in eight unknowns, to solve 20 equations in 20 unknowns should thus require 125 hours. But this calculation does not take into effect the increased labor due to greater chances for error in larger systems. The solution of general systems of linear equations with a number of unknowns greater than 10 is not often attempted, but this is precisely what is needed to make approximate methods more effective in the solution of practical problems. At Nassau's original thought was to improve upon existing calculating machines, notably the IBM tabulator. He and A.E. Brandt, an Iowa State College professor of statistics, made modifications to the IBM tabulator so that it could solve problems and analysis of complex spectra. This work was published in the Journal of Optical Society of America in 1936. Unbeknown to them at the time, the author's work was not highly regarded by IBM, whose corporate officials saw their machine being used for purposes for which it was not meant. His next attempt was through the construction of an annual analog calculator. This machine was a success in terms of accurate calculations, but at Nassau was still not satisfied with its reliability, as its components had to be in perfect working mechanical order to guarantee accuracy. As an electrical engineer, mathematician, and physicist, at Nassau's thoughts turned to using electronics as a possible solution to problems of accuracy and speed in performing scientific calculations. Existing textbooks and research were not helpful, and his frustration increased as he felt closer and closer to Maker making a major discovery, yet somehow seemed unable to pull all of his ideas together. During the winter of 1937, at Nassau made his now infamous drive across the Iowa border to a little roadhouse in Illinois where he stopped for a drink and was finally able to relax and let the ideas flow. The four ideas that came together were as follows. First, he would use electricity and electronics as the medium for the computer. Second, in spite of custom, he would use base two numbers for his computers. Third, he would use condensers for memory and use a regenerative or jogging process to avoid lapses that might be caused by leakage of power. Finally, he would compute by direct logical action and not by enumeration, as used in existing analog calculating devices. He spent the next year making plans for his computer and in March 1939 made a formal application to the college for funding a graduate assistant and materials. Iowa State College approved a grant for $650.
At Nassau hired Clifford Berry, and they began to construct the prototype for the world's first electronic digital computer. In December 1939, at Nassau and Berry demonstrated the machine to college officials and were awarded additional funding to build the full-scale machine, which then became known as the ABC. By late spring of 1940, the machine was well on its way to completion, and they submitted a manuscript describing the details of the computer, both for obtaining a patent, which would never be filed by Iowa State College, and to apply for additional funding for the refinement and perfection of the construction and operating features. As building of the machine continued, Clifford Berry wrote a manual for the ABC. In summer of 1941, John McCauley visited at Nassau in Ames to see the ABC.